Christians have been urged to be cautious, prayerful, and employ high level of self-control to surmount the security challenges facing the country. This was part of sermons at some Sunday services in Makodi, the Benue State capital. A correspondent, Francis Ter, who went around some churches, sent in the reports. At the NKST Church, Yotia, the presiding pastor and Benue State Ken Chairman, Reverend Dr. Ankben Leva, urged the faithful to be mindful about security in their communities. The Ken Chairman, who said security is everyone's business, called on the people to always support the authorities to overcome the situation as elections draw near. We are in the days of insecurity in this nation that everybody has to sit up. It is true that some of our churches have been bombed, Christian kids kidnapped here and there. And so our message to the Christian community in Nigeria is to be very, very uh, vigilant because there are criminals here and there. It was the same ambience at the glory of His Majesty Ministry where a guest preacher and paramount ruler of Idoma, His Majesty Dr. John Ludogo, centered his message on praying to destroy the evil in the land. Meanwhile, the general overseer of the church evangelist Mike Ewache charged Christians to always pray for the future of the country. The Bible says, my people that cover my name can open themselves and pray. God will change the situation. It's not about saying it, it's about practicalizing it. And I know that God is saying, well, if the people of God can rise and pray, then it's going to, it won't work. Reverend Sunday Tukwe of the Church of Christ High Level, Makodi, identified lack of self-control as a challenge to the present society. He, however, appeared to religious leaders to teach love and endurance for peaceful coexistence in the nation. Well, the message I have for Christians today is uh, self-control. So we discovered that without self-control, we will not be able to achieve the Christian virtues we are meant to achieve. Without self-control, we will not be able to discipline ourselves. We will not be able to take caution. We will not be able to bear or to have endurance or to, to, to bear with one another. So what we are seeing in society today is because people lack self-control. So that is the more reason that at the time like this, we need to teach ourselves self-control. When we read the book of Psalms, Psalm 91, we hear the promises of God that Yes, arrows passion against us will not prosper. Now, the whole lot of that is that people don't understand what that passage means. What it tells is that we will have attack, but the attack will never stop the cause of God. Some people make sacrifice. The sacrifice is not that the church fails. It is because some people are making the sacrifice, but they never go to be glorified. But if you hold on to your faith, when attack comes, I am telling you the truth, the devil will not prevail. But if you don't hold on to your faith, even though you are a believer, when you come, you fall victim. Christian and worship centers have now become possible target of attacks in recent times. So it was no surprise that religious leaders have taken it upon themselves to enlighten the congregants. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.